everyone. I'm going to share with you a look at these Modern Curriculum Press Math books. These ones are bought used off of Amazon. I could get two used books for the price of one that you can get off of Rainbow Resource. However, um, the Rainbow Resources do have updated covers. And as you can see, the cover has come off of my daughter's math book, which is a pink color. So if you have kids that do not really care for the pink math book, um, the updated covers may be a good fit for you. So let me kind of get into um, what a flip through, I guess is what you could say, of these math books. Okay, so honestly for the first part of the book, a lot of it is just kind of review from the last book. So uh, when my daughter started this, again, she was six. And a lot of these we could just skip. So what I did was I just um, removed these pages and I used them as busy work pages for my younger boy. And about chapter two, I think, is when we kind of started um started her at so that is the first like 24 pages that we have taken out however i purchased this for my soon to be five-year-old just because he has been asking desperately for schoolwork and um i think just that quality one-on-one -on -one time is what he's really looking for so i picked this up to kind of start doing with him and if we get you know a page done a day or every few days then that will be uh, completely fine for basically what I'm looking for and these will be a lot more work for him since he's not really writing again he's four five you know barely five he loves to write but I am not pushing it so much their hand development is a lot better at six seven um, so each chapter has I believe 24 pages let me let me see so this one is chapter two and we're going to go through sums and we kind of start with, you know, you have <laughs> how many, one, two, three, three, and one more is four and you're going to kind of work through that through both sides and it kind of grows and okay, so then you're now going to figure out the plus sign and whatever and it just gets more and more detailed. So this is our first chapter. You see, again, it's just kind of growing along with the student. And one of the reasons I really love this um, curriculum is that it's not, it's laid out in a very, um, like, columnized, what do they call this, list form way. Um, I don't have things kind of going all over. And that's one of the reasons I like it. Another reason I like it is that it's not too colorful. It's it's definitely colorful, but it's not too colorful. It's very dated color. And so we can just then focus on this. We're not distracted by all of the all of the things. Then we have domino work. I know many people love to use dominoes to work with this. And then we have pages that we're learning to memorize and work on our facts. Again, use this is best used with uh, memorization with your flashcards. We have some money. We're going to start working with three columns. And then at the end of a chapter, you have what is called the chapter checkup or a test, a chapter review. And these I like to pull out and save um, in a notebook so that I have documentation of what we have learned. So that started at page 25. And at the end of page 46, we had a chapter checkup. Now, you can make it so that you're doing a chapter a week but that is a lot of work I think for a six-year-old and so maybe one or two pages a day and again the the point here isn't to get this done as quickly as possible it's kind of going at a student's pace so whatever that looks like for you and your family and then after a checkup review we kind of move on now there is the spiral method and there's the mastery method and this one definitely has more of a mastery in it so we'll move on to new concepts as we finish <clears throat> our work. So 
So we went from plus to minus or addition to subtraction. Field trips. Now these books do have what is called a field trip and they're like extra fun to do or extra fun kind of work to do if they need it. Honestly, I would say if your student needs extra work, extra practice, then these would be useful. But to be honest, when we get to a field trip and, my, and I'm pretty sure that my student has done pretty well with the concepts, then I just cross it out and that's like their that's like the goal for them is to get it to where mom crosses out the field trip. So, and sometimes they kind of have more of a algebra, algebra practice in these things. You'll see it more like in the other books. And then write a fact model for each problem. Again, if you have a kid that loves math, this may be fun for them. Um, but to be honest, my kids, their goal is to have mom say, you don't need to do this, right? So. Each chapter has a few of those, um, what is it called? Field trips. And then again, we'll have another chapter checkup. And then again, we're going to go to chapter four, which is basic facts and sums through 10. And we're going to start memorizing these facts. Now, if I go through the whole book, each book this way, um, this video will be ridiculously long. So thankfully at the front, you do have a table of contents and these are all the things that you're going to learn. I have some clockwork. So at the end of this book, we have alternate chapter checkups. So there's more than one test that basically you can take. And these will um, be up to the parents' discretion. Maybe if you need um, extra work, then these would be helpful. Honestly, at the end of the year, it's, you know, you need a little bit more work. This is when I actually bring these back in because then it's like a review of all the, the um, of everything that we have learned in this one. And then I just save those and kind of create a year-end portfolio type of thing. Then book two, again, we have similar principles where the first chapter is a lot of review. And especially if you have a thing where you end a school year, then you have a summer break, and then you come back to school. Again, remember the first six weeks is like relearning everything. So honestly, for me, these sheets are actually best used during the summer. Kind of like a little math. Um, work throughout the day and a lot of it again I think the first chapter is pretty much all the review of what you have done this past year so page 19 our first chapter checkup and then chapter 2 basic facts sums through 10 now I can't show you the table of contents honestly because um, that page is ripped. So I'm just gonna flip to each chapter and kind of show you what some of the concepts that you will be learning this school year. So again, basic facts and sums through 12. And again, this is, I would even say this is a little bit of a, a refresher from the last school year. So we can go to, these are the ones, these are the things that my kids love the most and it's kind of a color by number. So you figure these out and then you color them. Um, each book has like one or two in there and those are my kids' favorites. I would love to find a book that just does all of that. We have a chapter checkup, so that means chapter, oops, I missed a chapter here. We missed chapter three. What is chapter three gonna tell, teach us? Addition sums through 18. Chapter four is subtraction and minuends through 18. Chapter five is three digit place of value. Chapter six is time and money. Again, a little bit of a reminder, but now we're not just going to the hours, we're going to the minutes. Some calendar work, some money work. And then at the end of chapter six, has completed chapters one through six of level B. So this is like the highlight. I wonder if this would hit like your 100 days of school. 
I'm not sure. But anyway, then we're going to go into, on the back of that, you have like, hey, look out for these things. This is honestly a little too busy for me. <laughs> um, but it's helpful to kind of know what we're going to start working on. And then chapter seven is addition and two digit numbers. Chapter 8 is subtraction with two digit, two digit numbers. Chapter 9, and I wanted to point out now when we're doing our chapter reviews, we have a different look for tests. We're starting to get um, into more kind of official looking tests. Chapter 9 is addition and subtraction with two digits, and we'll even get into three digits. So, finding two or three digits sums. Here we go. Ten addition, three digit numbers. We're going to be working with hundreds. Some word problems, which um, these are always helpful for certain, of, certain students of mine. Number 11 will be subtraction with three digit numbers. Twelve is going to be adding and subtracting subtracting large numbers. Thirteen, we're going to be working on geometry and fractions. 14, we'll be working on measurements. And 15, we'll be working on multiplication through 5 times 5. And I can see where this is a used copy. <laughs> and then we'll get to, again, our alternate chapter checkups, which, again, I like to use during the summer breaks uh, to kind of keep these concepts going well. And then lastly, we have book three. And then with these, I really recommend using, or with these, I really recommend also doing your addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division flashcards. It is very important um, for the students to have those in my humblest of opinions. I didn't do it with my first two, and now I am trying to um, get it all done because the less you have to keep track of, the easier your math will be. So this is why memorizing your facts is so important. Then, again, we have our review. And if you noticed, the numbers on here are starting to get smaller. The, the work is smaller print than it is in your last book. This is grade two, here's grade three. Here is a comparison of size. So we're starting to get, you know, into big kid work, right? So again, we have a review, lots of review, and then we start having these things, which I, these are what I use for timing. So how quickly can you get these done time tests? All right. Now, again, I don't want to do a complete, I'll, I'll flip through some of this. As you can see, we've got some more um, detailed pictures, black and white. Um, but I don't want to flip through each chapter. Um, again, it'll just make for a very long video. So, these are some of the things that we will be learning in this book. We have... alternate chapter tests in the back to kind of keep our brain sharp. So we'll have problem solving. I'm just going to kind of flip through this and share with you. We have, again, more updated test taking. I purchased mine 
second hand. I look for the review, not reviews, the descriptions on used books and I look for ones that specifically say not written in and I end up paying a little bit more but again I got two of these books used for the cost of one book off of Rainbow Resource. So if you're trying to save some money that would be one way to do it. And usually sometimes with these books you have like the first X number of pages done, not necessarily um, a lot of them. I did want to point out like some of these, study these right angles and stuff. Now this is at chapter, let me figure out what it says, chapter 10, Geometry and Graphing for third grade. When you go into Saxon 5-4, Saxon 5-4 is considered advanced fourth grade or fifth grade work. So after I finish these, we tend to go in to Saxon 5-4 and we have not had a problem with how I have worked that. And a lot of concepts that we have kind of gone over here will be addressed again in Saxon 5-4. Um, but the the mental work will be there, which is very important. Um, when you're trying to work out math problems, the more that you have been prepared for it definitely helps when you actually have to sit down and learn new concepts, if that makes sense. So this is this is pretty much why I like it. It's very simply it's very simply set up. And Emma, this is for you. And it's just a big help. And to our homeschool. Now, a lot of this, I know that I could find similar work problems on dadsworksheets.com, I believe it is, but honestly, I have learned that it takes so much time for me to get all of those going, the website downloaded, to get it printed, and to be honest, I just wasn't keeping up. So this has turned out to be a much better investment uh, for me and my family. So I hope those flip throughs kind of helped you decide if this would be a good fit for your family. And if it is, please give this video a thumbs up. That really helps um, algorithms for me. And um, if there's any questions that I can help with on this, please leave them down in the comment section below. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.